It's like you hear all these things in life, you hear all these decisions in life, you hear the stuff what people say. You hear all the things in life that people are talking about and what's being said, but man, every decision that you make will cost you something. And I'm learning that, that but whatever you decide to do in life, make sure that the decision that you make is a God-centered decision. Uh, that you spend time and you really hear clear, uh, have wise counsel, whatever you can do. Because every decision, God, it costs you something. It really does. And I'm learning that the more things that happen in my life has to do with every decision, the, the energy, whether positive or negative, that I draw to myself. Because I think of so many great things for us as people, man. We see other people come up. I Sometimes I see other preachers coming up. And I've been in ministry all my life, and my father in church and, and doing different things. I'm like, well, God, you know, I need your help. You, you try to get help from people. You try to get people to to help you do things and be a part of part of things and, and teach you stuff. And people are, are, are holding things against you, self-aggrandizement, <clears throat> selfish. They think we're in a competition and stuff like that. And we're supposed to, be, supposed to be in this thing to help one another. But it, it, it never comes like that. It's just as if the decisions that we make in life, when we do things for God and we need the help, people don't want to help. They want you to pay for it. They want to charge you for it. <clears throat> and I think it's just, it bothers me. A lot of things I hear about a lot of preachers and things like that. You know, I, I think I said it before. I've been in ministry my, my whole life. That's all I know. I took a four-year hiatus and to to go sit at somebody else's church because I all the ministry that I knew my whole life was my father's church. And, <clears throat> and even in that, I was still doing ministry. I was still serving. I was still working in music. I was still <laughs> doing the songs, doing music. But I think that we don't like mediocrity. People don't want to be mediocre. There's some people who really have a genuine heart for change and difference. So just do the best that you can. Be the best person that you can be. And just allow God to keep working on you. And just know that all things will come to you that is, it is for God. And I know what some of you are saying, that I'm old now, I'm, I'm past age. No, you're not, man. God used Abraham, Elijah, the list goes on. So it's important that you know just to keep, keep focusing, keep going forth. Don't give up. Keep going because you do. Sometimes you, you want to give up and you want to walk away because you feel like there's nothing there. I've been in that position, boy. I, I, I gave up and walked away because I didn't want to deal with what needed to be changed and what needed to be done. But I encourage you today to continue fighting, continue to be the best that you can at whatever it is. And whatever you're looking for and whatever you're trying to do, keep going. Just keep going. Don't want nobody to teach a man. Just begin to pray a little bit longer, spend more time with God. Find somebody who believes in you. And you'll get what you're trying to get to. So stay encouraged. I'm encouraging you, you guys as I encourage myself. So I just feel like I needed to just share that with you guys today. Just be encouraged. Just stay focused. Continue to be moving because God, everything. And my father always says, it seems like right have a long time coming. But Lord, it'll eventually come. And guys, have a great day. I love you. I'm praying for you. Stay focused. Stay strong. And be the best that you can be. Because somebody's waiting on you to come through. Have a good day.